Hey, Tim Sykes here with your daily video lesson. Uh, a lot of you guys are going to be very happy with this video. Let me just first say that. And if by the end of this video you understand my point, please leave a comment just below this video that says studying pays off. And this is the key. I have the most video lessons, DVDs, and webinars of anybody, and this is why I have the most successful students. Studying pays off. But let me just prove it to you in case you have any doubts. And by the way, if you go on properly, you can see all of these webinars. It's not just me. Um, you know, my top students like Tim Bowen, Mark Crook, they have their own tickers now because they're giving webinars. Uh, Tim Gratani, my top student, who's now closing in on $5 million in profits, has nearly, what, 70 live webinars. Q&A, live trading. The other day, a few weeks ago, he made like, I think like $7,000 live, showing his screen. Pretty cool. If you want more content, guess what? Look at this. We have all these different categories for my video lessons. I have over 5,000 video lessons. And look at this. If you go on the left-hand side of Properly, we have all these DVD guides. They are must-watches because studying pays off. And let me just prove it to you with this Daily Mail uh, article. A rookie card player just the other day won the World Series of Poker. He made $8 million. Um, and he got some nice jewelry. Look at this guy. I love this guy. This is the American dream. This is the everything dream um, where, you know, he's 25 years old and now he's literally a multimillionaire overnight. No experience whatsoever. Um, if you read this article, I'll link it just below this video too. There were 120,000 entrants from around the world. Um, and this guy, you know, he had some ups, he had some downs, but he banked. The second guy, I don't feel too bad. You know, he still made $4.7 million. Um, but I love this, that he, he brought his supporters, you know, he brought his friends, and this is just, you know, amazing. Look at this. He has t-shirts that says, is this real? And others declared that I don't like folding. Um, and let me just show you some good quotes. Look at this. This is a little jewelry that he got on top of the money. Um, but look at this. So he's a graduate of Temple University. He's a regular on New Jersey online poker sites, but never cashed in on the World Series of Poker. Okay? His total live winning stood at $300,000. Not bad, but still, you know, nothing huge. Um, and he says that money is not what motivates him to play. His payout will allow him to do whatever he wants, which is what I say in a lot of my video lessons. Um, and he's fortunate to live in New Jersey because it's one of three states where online poker is legal. That's cool, you know, so he's a poker player. I don't want you to think that poker and the stock market are the exact same, but they are, you know, games that can be won based on skill. It's not luck. A lot of people think that poker is luck or that, you know, stock trading is luck. That couldn't be further than the truth, okay? Um, this is the great quote that he says. Uh, after the tournament, he credited his many hours on the online felt for helping him win the main event. The best way to get better at anything is through repetition and practice. And he says, when you play online in New Jersey, it's hard for any live pro to see even close to the amount of hands that I've probably seen in the last two years. So he has been studying online. And this is perhaps the greatest uh, online success story, you know, in the past few years. You know, if you look at my top students, several of them who are the hottest, uh, Stephen Ducks, you know, 22-year-old, just passed 900000 in profits. He's been studying, if you've watched that interview. Tim Grittani, he was at $4 million. I don't have good internet here, I'm sorry. But he started with 1500 and he's made over $4 million. And he studied his butt off. And if you remember, you know, when I was going through this list, where was it? Uh, you know, he has his own ticker here, Grittani. So you can learn from his webinars. Um, and these are all of his webinars. If you're a challenge student, you have access to all these archive webinars. And everybody else, you have access to these you know, categories with the video lessons. And if you get these guides, you have access. So when he says this, when you play online in New Jersey, it's hard for any live pro to see even close to the amount of hands I've probably seen over the last two years. So one of my students sent me this article and he was like, wow, this is just like stock trading. And it's really true. Uh, you get experience live trading. Uh, you get experience from watching trades, uh, even if you're just paper trading, using stocks to trade ideally, or if you're just watching these stocks. Um, you know, the more supernovas you see, the more experience you get. But 
This is the beautiful thing about studying the past, and this is what truly makes my top students so successful. They get to study the past, okay? You get to study the past too, but a lot of you are not. I look at how many hours people are spending, and they just don't want to study the past. The vast majority of you guys just want to study whatever's hot right now, my current day's watch list, um, you know, the, the biggest percent market, pre-market gainers, and you live very much in the now. And that's a very newbie type way of learning and trading. And, you know, you're not going to do terribly, okay? You know, if you follow rules, like cut losses quickly. But the way that this guy and the way that my top students and I have done so well against all odds is studying the past through repetition and practice. I have so many articles on this. You know, a few weeks ago, I, I posted about Ray Allen. Let me pull up that article. This was on uh, timothysykes.com. Ray Allen, uh, this was a picture I took. I used to go to Miami Heat games all the time when they were really great. We sat courtside, brought several of my top students, like Mark Crook, several times. Um, and Ray Allen is one of the greatest three-point shooters ever. And if you read this whole article, An Athlete's Guide to Stock Trading, you know, he talks about it's all boring old habits. Let me get you the exact quote. Sorry, this is being filmed live during the trading day. There are alerts going off. That was Superman. Boring. Let me search for boring. Okay? There's 13, 13 mentions of this. So this is what it says. So he's writing a letter to his younger self. He says, he's talking in the third person. He wins championships in Boston and Miami. The personalities on those two teams will be different, but both teams will have the same thing in common. Habits. Boring old habits. I know you want to let me in on, or I know you want me to let you in on some big secret success in the NBA. The secret is there is no secret. It's just boring old habits. And now we have another example here with this guy where it's probably more relatable because, you know, an NBA player, okay, you practice all your shots, but, you know, if you're not six feet tall or if you're not necessarily athletically gifted, you might not even make it into the NBA. It doesn't matter how hard you practice. Poker. Stock trading, look at this guy. He's not making it into the NBA anytime soon. I'm not making it into the NBA anytime soon. I would venture to say that the vast majority of my students are not going to be professional athletes. Although I do have a few professional athletes, uh, you know, students who are great. Roland, my newest six-figure student, used to play uh, pro uh, soccer. And he got injured, and, you know, now he's made 150000 So it's kind of sweet when pro athletes – understand the work habits and they understand you know the journey that you need to take to be successful but this is new proof that it is about boring old habits and he has studied his butt off online the last two years okay he hasn't been working out for two years okay you don't get abs like this by you know doing sit-ups for three hours every day you get abs like this by sitting in a chair every day and watching tons of video lessons and the cool thing is you don't need perfect abs. You can just grow your knowledge, okay? I hate doing sit-ups. I'm not necessarily the best guy for ab workouts. But for me and my top students, it's all been about repetition and practice and studying the past. And that's why when I show off all these guides, I don't just make these guides to hear myself talk and because it's fun to do. Uh, you know, it's a lot of work to make these guides. I'm actually working on three guides right now. Um, you know, I don't make the hundreds of these video lessons and, and categorize them for fun, okay? My top students and I don't give these webinars because they're necessarily fun. We do it because we want you to study the past. We want you to really get used to these patterns, and that way you're better prepared for future patterns. This morning I made nearly $1,000. I'll make a whole video on that, but it was the same pattern. And I say this, try this every morning and you'll make money. It's the same damn pattern. This is the morning panic pattern. Stephen Ducks likes dip buying the morning panic pattern. You know, I have example after example after example. And it's because I've studied it, I've witnessed it, and I've profited from it. And no two stocks are exactly the same. No two bounces are exactly the same. But by studying the past, you get better prepared for the future. So this is my little, you know, just reminder to study the past because my team and I have worked our butts off on creating this massive 
educational content library and the patterns repeat. Um, and you know, that's really one of the secrets, if not the single biggest secret to my success. I've seen so many patterns and guess what? You don't have to necessarily study the past. Okay. If you want to just study every single day and experience every single thing, every single day, the way that I have over the past 19 years of trading, by all means do that. But by studying the past, you cut down your learning time. You cut down on your learning curve. You know, this article is titled Rookie, okay? Rookie, Rookie wins the World Series of Poker. And to the outside world, I mean, this, this seems phenomenal. Like, how could this guy come out of the blue and win this thing? Like, you know, rookies don't usually win. Like, normally you need experience. I mean, even if you're like the best football player in the season, like Cam Newton was, you know, when he just dominated the league, he failed miserably in the Super Bowl. Uh, a lot of first timers, you know, it takes two, three, four times in big pressure situations before you can finally come away with it because, you know, you have nerves. Like if you're a rookie, if it's your first time, uh, you know, in the spotlight. And yet this guy, let me, let me remember his name. In. I don't even know what his name is. Scott Bloomstein, okay, my fellow Jewish friend probably. Um, guess what? He has been studying the past two years. I just love this. I, I need to read this quote one more time just so that you understand. Uh, maybe not hand is the best word. Uh, online. Let's do two years. There we go. When you play online in New Jersey, it's hard for any live pro to see even close to the amount of hands I've probably seen the last two years. Okay? So this was his advantage. He took advantage of the online world. He took advantage of living in New Jersey, but mainly he took advantage of online and practice and he increased his education faster than a lot of the people who like to pay, play live. You know, I'm sure it's more fun to play poker live. You know, you, you mingle, you're like you're at these fancy casinos, the casinos are comping you drinks and dinners. But this guy stayed at home, used the internet, and got ahead of everybody else. And this is probably why all of my top students, you know, are from the Midwest. I've theorized this. Steven Ducks, Tim Gratani, Michael Good, uh, Mark Crook, Tim Bowen, you know, they're, they've all lived a significant part of their lives in the Midwest U.S. Where, not to knock the Midwest, but, you know, there's just not as many activities. When Stephen Ducks came to Miami, he was like, oh my God, there's so much to do. My Uber driver is telling me to do this and that, and I don't know what to do. And he liked it. He enjoyed it. But he was also excited to go uh, back to Ohio. And I actually flew out to Ohio a few weeks ago. I haven't posted um, yet, but I, I had a great time in the Midwest and I saw, um, you know, Stephen Ducks' process and I have great respect for that process. I have great respect for, you know, hard work and really grinding. Um, if you want to make millions of dollars, whether it's in the sports area or poker or stock market, understand that online this is a totally new world, okay? It's very easy for me to say, oh, study hard, work hard, okay, you get the rewards. But what a lot of you guys don't understand is that we are living in a new paradigm these past few years. As I can do videos like this, this technology of me being able to do this video and posting it and getting it out to you guys, you know, all within a few hours is amazing. And it's only gonna get better in the years to come. But it's because we're using this brand new invention with the internet and education is gonna be changing. And I don't know if you guys know this, I'm actually giving a TED Talk in a few weeks. I don't think I've even announced it publicly. I think this is the first time I've announced it. I'm excited to give a TED Talk about how to use new technology and how new technology is gonna increase education. And I'll probably actually use um, this guy as an example now too. You know, Education is speeding up. The ability for you to have success within a few years. I mean, he just won the single biggest poker tournament after studying for two years, okay? My top student, Tim Grittani, hold up, let me just pull up this article in case you don't realize. My top student, Tim Grittani, took 1,500 of his own money and turned it into a million in three years. Now in his sixth year, he's closing in on five million. This was not possible a few years ago before we were able to share everything with video lessons and DVDs and webinars. And the only thing 
left is for you to take advantage of it and for you to realize it and for you to capitalize on it. You know, too many of you have access to these resources and you're just, you know, not, not taking advantage. And I hate that. So I'm trying to snap you guys out of it and take advantage of my team and I's, my's, I don't even know good English, all our hard work. Um, I want you, you know, winning the world series basically of the stock market. And it, it comes from studying the past. And you guys can ask questions and by all means study in the present and trade in the present, but don't ignore the past. Let this guy Scott's beautiful face and cash that he just won after two years of study inspire you. And if you understand that, leave a comment underneath this video. Uh, what did I say? Studying pays off? Probably. Something like that. Leave a comment if you understand it and really show me that you're going to be dedicated. This is all I want. I want more successful students. Where are you guys? Where are the dedicated students?